Oh, good evening, and welcome back to Christmas in Las Vegas. Let's tell a holiday tale from a sports better's perspective. Twas Sunday before Christmas at the Superbook, with a dozen NFL games at which we could look. Betters lined up at the windows with care, in hopes that spread covers soon would be there. Wise guys deem the Titans and Steelers as strong, while for squares the Ravens could do little wrong. No one found Panthers and Colts worth a try, nor the Skins nor the Giants who rebenched Eli. As the Dallas Philly line came to a close, the book said that game was pros versus Joes. The public took Cowboys with a gleam in their eye, while early sharp cash was on Fly Eagles Fly. With game time approaching, let's wrap up those bets before settling in for a day full of sweats. Back to their seats, all the patrons did scurry, and I swear I just saw a now famous John Murray. In some form or fashion, all games could be seen on the 240-foot video screen. Then the kickoffs took flight, no more time to think. But how about a ticket for a free adult drink? Does Santa give those out, I heard one patron say. Another responded, no, it's Jay Cornegay. One better whose wagers were going astray, tried to balance his losses with mobile in play. And as the games ended, there arose such a clatter from betters whose bankrolls had just gotten fatter. I'm Patrick Everson, and for you betting lovers, you should follow us on Twitter, the handles at covers. And regardless of whether your bets turn out right, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas, Bronco.